Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Capricorn's monthly tarot reading for the month of July. In this message we are first going to pull a card from the Shadow and the Light Oracle deck right here. Then we will pull out a traditional tarot deck. And in this message, we are going to uncover what's coming in, what to prepare for, what's supporting that, okay? We'll also take a look into what to let go of, what to release this month, new path moving forward. We'll also pull a few cards for advice. I'll clarify as well as pull a few oracle cards at the end. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So let's see here, Capricorn, what we can see for you guys for July 2020. What is the most important message that Capricorn needs to see here, Spirit? For July 2020. Holding on way too tightly. Strangely lonely. This card is 17. That's an 8. Getting a sense here, Capricorn, that I feel like you're you're trying to protect yourself. You're really guarded is the sense that I'm getting. I don't really feel like this is a holding on to something type of a card for you. Now this card can symbolize you are holding on to something too tightly, but this could be holding on to your independence or holding on to your belief of being single, you know, um, holding on to yourself too tightly. I do feel this guarded type of energy here. So let's take a look, Capricorn, for you guys for the month of July 2020. What does Capricorn need to see here, Spirit? The most important message Please and thank you. Please keep in mind, guys, that the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. There's something in the title resonating that is most likely going to be something in the message. For more information on energy cleanse kits that I offer, how to get entered into the drawing, for free personal readings. It's all linked below in the description box. Not offering personal readings at this time. When I open that back up, I will mention. You can email me and I have a list that I can put you on if that's something that interests you. Um, but there's just, I'm doing a lot of, I'm doing a mo doing some moving and just getting things situated. I have a few events that I have to attend at the end of the summer, potentially, that I'm still trying to figure out. So with everything going on, I'm not doing personal readings at this time. But again, when I open that back up, I will let you guys know for sure. And Capricorn. You guys like how I vibe, you like how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe. Everyone is always welcome here and it does help set your intentions for future messages. <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, OMG Capricorn. This is definitely a card of waiting, of not moving, of... not making a decision. And we're going to clarify all of this, but the supporting card is the seven of swords. Now this card 
is a tricky card because it does symbolize deceit, lying. It also symbolizes trying to sneak away, trying to escape. And maybe that's what you're afraid of, you know, maybe you're afraid that somebody else may try to control you or try to control the situation or won't allow you to have freedom. And that's what you're trying to avoid. Bottom of the deck, we have the chariot here. So let's get some clarification. Capricorn. Please clarify this Knight of Pentacles in Reverse Spirit for Capricorn. Understand that you're going to know when the right person comes into your life. So if you're feeling like you want to be guarded with a person, that's probably not a person who's meant to be. Now, of course, you can use them as a placeholder, but sometimes when we get involved with people, it doesn't allow other opportunities to come into our life that are better suited. So there is that chance that you take. And I understand the new age thing is all about rotational dating and all that other stuff. But if you're truly trying to find that soul connection, that soulmate taking that one, two, three months to really get clear if this is your soulmate or your soul person, what's, what's the loss in that, you know? And then really at the end of that two or three months determining, you know, am I going to continue this on for an, another three months? Do I feel like this person is somebody I can see myself with for long term? Now, maybe there's a fear because you don't have an understanding of what you want or where you're headed. So there might be a need here for this month, Capricorn, to really get clear on what that vision is. Okay, so let's clarify the Knight of Pentacles in reverse for Capricorn. Yeah, not wanting to work together, but this is causing some confusion. Withholding your energy here, Capricorn, because I feel like there may be times where you're okay, you're starting to open up, and then something happens where you're like, nope. Mm -mm. You're going to feel relief from the clarity, okay? From finding that clarity, from understanding what your outcome looks like, where you're headed. What does that vision look like? Okay. There's a need here to kind of maybe process some past emotions. Okay. Five of pentacles in reverse. This talks about releasing abandonment issues. Um, this could also be talking about releasing that need to hold on too tightly. That fear of being hurt. Now, I do feel here, Capricorn, that your problems, this issue, all these things are going to be resolved by getting clear on what that outcome is. I also want to mention there's three sevens coming up here. That's stroke of luck or lucky number seven. So you could be having some luck coming into your life. Maybe invest, invest in, in a lotto ticket or something along those lines. Um, I will say that going within here with the hermit and getting clear Capricorn, you need to have a vision, at least somewhat of where you're headed. What do you want out of life, right? What do you want out of relationships? Sometimes not knowing is what hinders us from moving forward. Uh -huh. 
one thing about a crossroads here because you're needing to make a decision. There's a need here to make a decision with the two of wands in the position of what to let go of. You're going, you're at a crossroads, you need to make a decision. Take the time to think, sit down and think about each of those decisions that you have to make and really determine, you know, play that tape out and see is this person, place, or thing, do I see myself aligning with this for long term? If so, how and why? Play it out. Where do you see that headed? Any negative energy comes up, any stress, anxiety, any worry, that may not be the right choice, okay? When it's calm, when it's peaceful, that's when it's your person. That's the direction you need to choose. Understand that you're not going to have to have your guard up when it's the right decision. It's just going to come together smooth like butter. You are going to be rewarded the direction that you're headed. I also feel like once you're clear on what this outcome is, things are going to start speeding up here, okay? So take some time right now while you're waiting or guarded to go within and focus on yourself, okay? Focus on what your outcome is. What do you envision that outcome being? Now, I do feel like this is a painful process. There might have been, maybe this person is holding on to you. Maybe there's somebody that's holding on to you, Capricorn, that you've maybe tried to release and they're not. They're always around, okay? Blatantly not talking to that person, not communicating, maybe putting them on your block list, maybe changing your number, what have you. You have to make this decision, okay? If it, this isn't a situation that brings in that calm, that peace, you have to actively decide for yourself to move forward from that. You can't put that decision in someone else's hands and like, oh, well, they, they're always there and they never go away and that's on you, right? Acceptance, that's on you. It's your life, right? Just as easy as they could have said no, you could have as well. Get a few cards out here for the advice moving forward here, Capricorn. I am going to do an extended version to this reading, okay? In the extended version, we're going to take a look at where where is all this headed? What's to come from all of this? We're going to take a look at what the outcome will be. If the guidance is followed, pull out the Archangel deck for the blessing, the Soul Truth deck for the lesson. If that's something you're interested in, Capricorn, you're more than welcome in joining. That link is below. Also, guys, the second link is to subscribe to Vimeo. If you wait until after the 1st of July, it will allow you access to all of the extended versions, and it's $11 a month. There's going to be this period where you're going to take some time by yourself. The strength card is talking about going within. It's the it's the beginning. 
The Strength card is the card before the Hermit card. So to me, this is that first the first steps to that self-discovery process, which is going within and really... It's usually a shift, okay? So usually there's something that happens where you're like, I can't keep living like this. I can't keep going through this. I can't keep doing this. This awareness. And then you're going to maybe sit with yourself and like look at it like, what can't I keep doing? What isn't working for me? The strength card talks about taming that inner beast, going within and having that acceptance of those perceived flaws. Oftentimes in readings, I will describe this as something that you've accepted about yourself that's negative that other people don't perceive as negative. For instance, if you have an obnoxious laugh and let's say your person loves your laugh, it makes them giggle, they think it's cute, but your whole life you've been told that your laugh is obnoxious. That's a perceived flaw. The strength card, it talks about accepting those, you know, going within and accepting what those things are. Shadow work. So going within and really determining Capricorn, what's holding you back? Where is this confusion coming from? Why am I always put in these situations where I don't feel like I can get out of it, where I have to escape? Why can't it feel more calm, cool, collected, collaborative, working together? And I really get the sense here, Capricorn, that this month, these are all things that you're going within and determining. We do have the strength card twice, I will mention that. Also have the chariot twice. So this movement forward is going to come from that acceptance piece. Let's get a soul journey card out here for you, Capricorn. If you guys are finding this message is helpful, that it's resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated and does help with the growth of the channel. So thank you guys so much for that. Of course it would. Freedom. <laughs> That's your card. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. This is so crazy Capricorn because I really, I really just in my head thought about escaping, escaping the freedom. <laughs> Your soul is open to receiving new wisdom and insights that will allow it to make the right choices for its own growth. Remember that you, you are never a victim of other people or their circumstances. You have complete control over your own choices. By following your heart and being authentic to yourself, you present the real you to the world making decisions based on other people's expectations is not the true path to happiness you are responsible for creating your own reality when a soul shifts to a place of honoring itself in its totality free from judgment only then will it find its true freedom every soul is unique and follows its own path don't give in to peer pressure or the urge to fit in. You are the only one who truly knows the real you. So feel free to march to the beat of your own drum. Freedom. <laughs> so crazy. I really literally just thought of escaping to freedom. I think that's what I'm going to title this video. So Capricorn, you are freeing yourself okay but in that 
you need to make sure that those those lessons are learned right so getting clear on why that why everything's taking place the way that it is and also the things that you can control right getting clear on what that outcome is for you is going to be beneficial because then you're going to be able to see who is in alignment with that for you. My work is deeply fulfilling. Today, I give my best to that which I do Knowing that when one experience is complete, I am led to even more fulfilling and rewarding experiences. Beautiful. Capricorn. You're headed in the right direction. I feel like you are coming into a position where you're going to start focusing on your soul's purpose, just needing to clear out this confusion. The first stages to that is going to be the awareness, but getting clear on what that outcome is, what you envision for your outcome, you know, what does it look like when you're at the position of stability, stable in your relationship or stable in your home life or your work life what does that all look like for you then you're going to be able to see what's in better alignment with that but it is up to you capricorn so that's the message i have guys coming out for you guys for this month Thank you guys so much for all the love and support, for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward, if you guys want to get in on the extended version, the link is below. Otherwise, thank you guys again so much, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.